Ceiling hoists are designed to prevent caregiver injury and make lifting safer and more comfortable for the resident. The P200 is a lightweight, easy to operate, portable hoist and can transfer a person weighing up to 200 kilograms. The P200 does not take up valuable floor space in a resident's room. Not only that, it can serve multiple track systems, saving significant costs for a facility fit out, compared to a permanently fitted hoist. Using the P200 ceiling hoist allows caregivers to move residents with minimal physical effort, providing a safe working environment in which residents and caregivers are protected. Before using your P200, it is important that you understand the features and functions to get the most out of it. Using the hand control will allow you to move the hoist up and down. There are also up and down buttons on the hoist itself. Next to these, there is a red down arrow. This is the emergency lowering button and will lower the hoist in the unlikely event that the down button does not function. You will hear a beeping sound as it lowers. If this emergency lowering button needs to be activated, you must stop using the hoist and contact Adacare for an immediate service. If the hoist needs to be stopped in the event of an emergency, the emergency stop switch should be turned to off. This prevents all power getting to the motor, immediately stopping movement. It will also need to be activated if there is a function failure. If this is the case, stop using the hoist and contact Adacare for a service. This isn't an on-off switch. The hoist automatically turns off if it hasn't been used for two minutes. On the motor, there is also a battery light indicator. If it is lit green, the battery is sufficiently charged. If it is orange, the battery needs to be charged. And if it is red, the battery charge is very low and immediate charging should occur. It is important to note that batteries should be charged whenever the lifter is not in use. Do this by connecting the charger to the hoist, plugging the charger into a power point and switching on the power point. When charging, the battery light indicator will flash orange. Always make sure that the emergency stop button is switched to the on position as the hoist will not charge if it is off. Before any lift takes place, you must always check your equipment. Check that the lift tape is free from damage, no fraying, no tears, no loose stitching. And ensure that there are no twists in the lift tape. Check that the hoist is in good condition. There should be no signs of damage, such as dents or sharp edges. Check the track and ensure that end stops are in place and that the track is in good condition. Finally, check the sling, ensuring that all labelling can be read and that it is free from wear and tear. Attaching the P200 to the ceiling track is easily done without the need for manual lifting. Simply attach the reacher bar to the QRS hook, leaving the hoist in its transport cart with the lift tape slack. Hook the reacher bar onto the ceiling track trolley and press the up button on the hand control, ensuring that there are no twists in the lift tape as this can damage the motor. The hoist is now attached to the ceiling track without the need for any manual handling effort. Using recognised manual handling techniques, place the sling under the resident and bring the P200 into position, ensuring that it hangs straight down. If you are doing a lighter sit lift, you may wish to raise the head of the bed to facilitate this. When you are happy that the sling is securely attached to the lifter, press the up button to begin the transfer. Just before the resident's bottom leaves the surface, always remember to check that loops are still securely attached to the hoist. To move the resident, always use the sling's handles. Never use the reacher bar or lift tape to do this. When the resident is at the desired location, press the down button to lower them, being careful to keep the hoist safely away from the resident. Setting the chair a little back will help you to do this. When the resident is safely positioned and sling loops are slack, detach the sling from the hoist and move it out of the way. Then remove the sling from under the resident. To take the P200 off the ceiling track, make sure the hoist is located over the transport cart and then press the down button. When the hoist touches the transport cart, it will automatically stop lowering.
This is because of the slack sensor, which is a safety feature of the P200. To overcome this, gently pull upwards on the lift tape while continuing to press the down button. When there is enough slack in the lifter tape, use the reacher bar to remove the P200 from the ceiling track. There is no need to wind the lift tape back in. In fact, doing so can cause severe damage that is not covered under warranty. Leaving it unwound in the transport cart means that it is ready for your next lift. There may be occasional instances when you do need to wind in lift tape, such as when maintenance is required. If you do, press the up button and guide the lift tape as it winds in, ensuring that there are no twists in the material. Remember to always put the hoist back on charge after each use. By following these tips, you will get the most from your P200, allowing you to transfer residents both easily and safely.